Just a couple of notes about some of the electrical problems that were kicking my ass uh, today and kicked Taylor's ass. Um, we had an intermittent problem with this starter solenoid right here. There's a terminal that you don't see anything on now. Uh, and that terminal is supplied, it is supposed to give us 12 volts to give us extra voltage when to kind of just kick start the engine. And then we go back to running through a resistor, which is this white thing right here. Uh, right here, this white thing. Uh, we run back to the resistor, which gives us a reduced voltage. If I bypass the resistor, we'd run the risk of burning up the ignition coil, which is this guy. And if we burn up the ignition coil, you're dead in the water until you get towed back in and somebody gets in to fix it. So we're starting on 5 volts instead of 12 volts because that's what the resistor does, knocks the voltage down. But it starts real good. You'll see how well it starts. The next thing I've set up for here is a little demonstration on how to test your alternator. Here's your new alternator. And the way you test your alternator to decide if you're charging or not, uh, well, first of all, first thing is you'll notice is uh, when I turn the key on, you're going to notice the lower needle move to the left. That's the discharge position. That was wired backwards. You know, we sent these gauges down after we'd been here. We brought the tack down with us, and I think we sent the other gauges back, as I recall. But at any rate, um, so that gauge was wired backwards. Uh, so it's discharging, and it's showing you discharging. So we're going to crank this engine real quick. And that is literally how easy it starts. All right, now we see that we're charging. So the amp meter is one method. But if you didn't trust the amp meter, there is yet another method. And that is to uh, pull your battery cable off. If your engine continues to run, it's running off the power that's being made by the alternator. So it's a real easy check, real easy test to see if your alternator is working properly or not. All right.